Hi everybody, this is Noelle from Petite Garden Centers, and we're actually doing a three-part series, and this is the second part to the series of, if you love this plant, try this plant. So um, we're, the second part is really kind of, I really shouldn't say middle range. We still think that many of the plants that you see here are gonna be on the lower maintenance side of care. However, when you start to move into some new varieties, especially with the philodendron family, you might have to move up your care level to a medium care level just to kind of uh, make sure you're protecting your investment. Okay, so I'll explain more here. So we have the pothos or pothos family, however you like to say it. And then we also have the philodendron family here. There are tons of varieties of philodendron coming into house plants and plant markets and, uh, from all over the world. So there are a lot of them. And so I'm gonna start with pothos and say, if you love growing pothos, definitely try philodendron because I think you can start moving into all different upright growers, big leaves, small leaves, variegations, all those types of things too, okay? So to start out with, with the care, what's great about growing these two families is that they're, they're fairly easy care, folks. Uh, lighting can be any type of indirect lighting from a low indirect lighting all the way to a bright indirect lighting. What we want you to avoid is we want you to avoid direct sunlight on these plants. It's just not the best thing for them. You will see burn spots, you will see dotting, like if you spray mist and the sun comes in and refracts through the little water droplets, you'll see little burn marks on the leaves. So whatever you do, you don't necessarily want them next to a sunny window. Please don't put them there. Away from windows, no problem whatsoever. Or if you have diffuse curtains um, in the middle of a room, you'll be fine, they'll be fine, okay? So light, no problem. Watering, also really not an issue. I just wanna tell you to be careful of over watering. Again, when watering house plants, we try to keep them on the drier side of watering. And especially pothos and philodendron, they'll let you know when they need some water. So you're watching for that ever so slightly just wilt, just a little bit of a wilting. Put your finger in the soil, make sure that it's dry, one to two inches deep. So get your finger in there. And then if it does feel dry, then you can go ahead and thoroughly water. Again, a thorough watering on a house plant is thoroughly moistening the soil in the pot, letting the water run through until it stops and then repeating. So doing that again until it stops and then put your plant back. Again, you can water in pots, but you gotta make sure that your plants aren't sitting in water. With philodendron and pothos, maybe let them sit for 15, 30 minutes in that water and then make sure you go back and discard it, okay? Um, so be very, very careful with that. Other than that, fertilization with these guys is really just typical houseplant fertilization. You're looking at April through September, typically half strength to quarter strength of a, a regular multi-purpose fertilizer, but there's so many different types and varieties of fertilizer. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you read the instructions for houseplants, okay? So keep that in mind. Let's talk about families here. And there's actually only three pothos that I we have pictured here. There's more, don't get me wrong, but pothos generally are kind of what we think of as sort of a trailing, hanging basket type house plant. Obviously make a great uh, plant for small tables and desks and those types of areas too. And they have um, like a heart-shaped leaf. Some of them are a little bit more narrow and so forth. So this one is actually called silver satin. It has a beautiful thick leaf, nice big silvery modeling on it. We love it. It is a really nice, easy growing pothos for people to grow. Another one that you probably have never seen before because it's actually new on my radar is this one, okay? This is a true pothos, but it's a variegated leaf. And when many pothos are trained to grow up, they start getting fenestration. So those are those openings in their leaves um, and little, sometimes you'll get, you'll see little like side cuts 
on the leaves. And that's meant to happen. So when these plants start growing and get trained upright, some of them open up a little bit more and show those fenestrations, okay? Um, the other one that I have is this little Cebu Blue Pothos, and we love this little plant. It is actually much more aggressive growing than we thought. So really taking cuttings of this one, growing it in larger pots, letting it grow upright on um, you know, moss poles and different things, it's a really nice one to grow. So think about if you have those pothos, and I think a lot of us grow things like Marble Queen. It's a really pretty white and green uh, marble type. So those are really, really common and very, again, very easy to propagate, very easy to grow. Then when you switch over to the philodendron family, there are some very similar type habit philodendron. Kind of on the far left over there is called philodendron micans. And it's really kind of a beautiful heart-shaped philodendron. It has red sort of fuzzy uh, undersides of the foliage. Really neat, very pretty, very easy to grow again. And the variegated one right next to it is called Brazil. And we love Brazil. It's really bright and colorful, has that beautiful yellow striping right down the center of the leaf. Um, and then you move to maybe a few more upright philodendrons. So this new beautiful one is called Painted Lady, beautiful pink to red stems. And then look at that chartreuse yellow green modeling on the foliage. Again, we're kind of putting this in that sort of middle range of care because you want to, if you're making an investment with some of the newer philodendrons, you really want to be a little bit more careful about how you're treating this plant, okay? So just be aware, uh, painted ladies out there, this really cool one with all of the, the cool leaf margins and so forth, this is actually called Mayo Eye. And Mayo Eye is, a, again, kind of a newer variety on the scene for houseplants, but really unusual leaves. And as they mature and get older, they'll split as well and produce fenestrations like some of the pothos will, okay? Um, the two large ones on the far left, we've got Rojo Congo, which is that beautiful red stem, very dark bronzy red leaves. Um, again, just a great philodendron can get much larger. So you can tell philodendron family can trail, grow up and get very, very big as well. And then we have Silver Sword, which is the one right next to it. Beautiful silvery blue color um, and, and gorgeous habit. And that one, wow, has really busted out um, this summer for us. And we, we really enjoy that one. So again, lots of different varieties to choose from. If you love pothos, go ahead and try philodendron. Maybe you might become a collector of a lot of these because again, they're some of the best uh, house plants that you can grow and provide a lot of different color, texture, air purification in the home and in the office. So enjoy.